With this new tool, you can now turn any image into a mockup template. I'm going to show you how to use it on desktop and then quickly on mobile. Once in the editor, there are two different ways to access this tool. You're going to add your image to your design. So I'm going to upload. So I already have some images in here. I'm going to use this one here and let me show you the two different ways the first one you are going to select the image so you can see this floating menu above and then you're going to click edit from here you're going to the section apps and find mockups in here if at some point canva adds more apps and you don't see it here you simply click see all and click mockups you're gonna see this new feature here that says create a mockup template this one has a little crown meaning that it's available for canva pro users canva for enterprises and canva for education you're gonna click here to generate your custom mockup and wait a couple of seconds canva is then going to give you four different results and you're going to select the one that looks more aligned to what you are looking for. So in this case, I want to create a mockup in which I can add an image in this laptop screen. So if that's what I want, I'm going to select the result that has a frame inside this screen. If you want to add another kind of mockup, so for example, in this image, there are some frames in the wall. If you you want to create that kind of mockup you will select this option right here so select the option that better fit your needs i'm going for this one here and then simply click confirm and now all you have to do is to drag and drop any image into this mockup so let me go again to upload i want to insert this image into the mockup so i simply drag it on top of the image and you will see that it starts loading i already have the image inserted into the mockup and I can see that the image has been cropped. I want to see the full image. So if you want to edit that, simply go to edit on top of the screen, having the mockup selected. Or another way is to double click on your mockup you will see the mockups window appearing on the left and all you have to do is to adjust your image from here or simply click fit. You can also play around with the alignment or you can flip your image and then apply changes. Now, something important to have into consideration is that you can use this tool only on images that you have uploaded to Canva or on free images that you find on the library. Now, let me give you an example. Let's go to elements and let's go to photos if i search for phone let's say and i select this image that is a pro image and then i go to edit select mockups and then click on create a mockup template and remember this image is a pro image so if i click on this tool you will see that now we have this red message it says canva teams images cannot be used to create mockups please try another photo so let me delete this photo and let's search for another image so let's go for this one this one is in the library but it's free so i bring this image into the design and I will try to make it as a mockup so we can insert images inside this mobile phone. So let's go to edits, go to mockups and then click create a mockup template. So again, this image, it's completely free. The tool, it's available for Canva Pro, Canva for Enterprises and Canva for Education. And by the way, this feature is available on every Canva document except Docs. Now, as you can see, I have a couple of different options in here and I think I'm gonna go for the first one and then click confirm and now we can insert any image into the mockup you can also use the images in the library if you want to add an image into the mockup you can then use any image in the library it can be either a free or a premium image so let's go to photos see all and then add a free photo just to test it out you can see already the image inside the phone and now let's go for a premium image so flower in there and then i'm going to filter by pro 
here we have a pro image. I'm going to drag it on top of the mockup and you will see that we don't have any issues inserting premium images into the mockup. Now let me give you an extra tip on how to use this tool. I have noticed a bug. It is a bug that sometimes appears and sometimes it is not there. But if it happens on your end, I want you to know the solution. In this case, I have added this picture inside the phone and I want to change it. I want to insert this photo here but when I drag the image on the mockup it is not applying. The simple solution to this is to double click on your mockup or click on edit to open the mockup window so I'm going to double click and then from here you see that we indeed have the image but it is not visible here. All you have to do is to detach the image so you see that the mockup is empty. All you have to do is to drag again the image on top of the mockup and that will be it. Now let me show you the second way in which you can access this feature. Go to apps on the left panel and from here search for mockups. Hit enter, open the app and then you'll have access to the feature in here. You will need to select a photo to turn it into a mockup template so first select your photo and then you will see it in this little thumbnail and then you can follow exactly the same steps that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. Let me know what do you think about this feature? Do you like it? Do you find it useful? I personally believe it is actually pretty useful and I already see ourselves using it a lot on our content. And by the way, if you have a Canva free account and would love to try this feature, we have a Canva Pro free trial in the description or you can also scan this QR code. Now let me quickly show you how to access this feature from a mobile device. From a mobile device, we're going to use the panel that we see at the bottom of the screen. So if you have uploaded an image to your Canva account, you're going to go to Uploads. Or if you want to use an image in the Canva library, you're going to go to Elements. I'm going to use this free image that we used recently. Now, by having the image selected, you're going to go to the bottom of the screen. And from here, search for Apps. Give it a couple of seconds. In my case, it took two to three seconds for this window called apps to appear at the bottom of the screen. And now that you have this window here, tap on mockups. And then the process is exactly the same as we saw it on desktop. If you have the image already selected, simply tap here and Canva will start doing its magic. We have our results ready and I want to show you something important that I didn't mention before. When you are selecting your result, I want you to pay attention to the perspective of your frame. So as you can see on these two top results, they seem similar. But if you look, the perspective of the frame inside the phone is completely different. I believe this one is a little bit off. You will see that the perspective or the position of the cloud is not aligned to the phone screen. You can see that the straight line on this cloud is more aligned to the frame of the phone. So that's why I'm selecting this option here. I believe the images once inserted into this mockup are going to look much better. So I'm going for this option here and then tap on confirm. And to insert the image into this frame, you will need to go to uploads or to the library. And on mobile, things work a little bit different. So you won't be able to simply drag the image into the frame. So you see that I'm trying to drag, but it's not working. So I'm simply going to tab on the image and then having the image in the design, I'm going to move it a little bit on top of the image. You will see that the mockup has now a blue outline. That means that the mockup is working. And as you can see, the image is now inside the frame. Where do you see yourself using this feature more often? On desktop or on mobile? And to continue learning about Canva with us, you can check out our Canva master course. I'm leaving here a QR code, but you can also find the link in the description. And I'm also leaving here a tutorial of another new tool in Canva I'm sure you're going to love. I think that's it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!